Okay, we're gonna do a um, quick video of lab three. This is the friction lab. And it was a pretty simple little experiment. You know that friction is the product of our coefficient of friction, mu is what we call it, and also um, the normal force. And on a flat surface, we know that normal force is equal to the weight of something. So we're going to find the friction coefficient between this sign, which is painted and concrete, some foam, styrofoam, and concrete, and cardboard. What we're going to do is figure out the normal force of the brick. And so we've got a scale here. The brick, we're going to go with the units of grams, which is a, a unit of mass, not force. But this is 1.96 kilograms or 1,960 grams. What we have here is a little uh, force gauge, pulling gauge, and it's nice because it is, well what's interesting is our scale here, red grams, and you can see here if the camera's in focus that the scale measures in grams, you can see the G here, or in newtons. So what I'm going to do is turn the camera a little bit. Let's put the scale to the side. So what I'm going to do first is put the brick on the cardboard. Hopefully you're getting that. And we're going to hook our force gauge to this and pull it and see how much force it takes to pull this thing sideways. So that was about 850 grams. I know that's not a measure of force, but that's um, that's what we got on the on the on the pulling gauge here. So the other side of this scale is newtons. So we're getting about about 1050, 1050 grams. Yeah, about 1,050 grams for the cardboard. We have our sign here, our no trespassing sign. Let's flip it over so we can get the hook through it a little bit easier here. Okay, so most people expected the metal sign, which has got like a coating on here, it's pretty smooth, to have the lowest coefficient of friction. So on the gram side, which again, grams is a measure of mass, not force, but that's how this, this scale is um, set up. Getting about 800. 750 to 800 grams is what the scale is reading to move the brick. Okay. And last, we have our foam. A lot of the students said that this would, their guess was that this material would have the highest friction. So let's pull this one. Let's see what we get. Uh, 
That came out to be about 1,300 grams. Let's do it again. About 1,500 grams that time. And about 1,400 grams that time. If we look at all three materials, we can see we have they obviously have different areas here. The sign is the smallest, second largest is the foam, and then we have the cardboard. So they have different areas. Um, I want you guys to think about will the different areas affect this calculation of friction coefficient or, or will they not?